So here we've got the probability of A and we've got a straight line and then B. And that means given that. That straight line means given that. So what this is saying is the probability of A given B. And what does given B mean? It means that B has definitely happened. So work out the probability of A knowing that B has definitely happened. That's all it means. And I'll help you make sense of that now. Okay, so this question says B given Y. So it wants us to work out B, but it's given that Y has already happened. And since we know Y has already happened, well, there's no point looking at anything else. We might as well only look at Y because it's given that Y has definitely happened. But we need to work out the probability of B. So now with these remaining numbers left, let's work out the probability of B. And from these numbers, only two is in B. So it's going to be two over the total. Now it's not 11 because all these numbers are gone. It's over five. So it's two over five. So it wasn't too bad. Let's try another one. Now we're asked what probability of Y given B. So we need to work out probability of Y given that B has definitely happened. So if B has definitely happened, so there's no point looking at anything outside B, is there? Because we know that B has definitely happened. It says given B. So let's now work out the probability of Y. So with these remaining numbers, only two is the number we're looking for. That's the only Y there is, the two over the total. And of course, the total is not 11 because the other numbers are gone. It's just seven. And if you do it like this, these questions are not too bad. Let's try this one. This one's slightly trickier. It says probability of B given that not Y. So it says given that not Y. So if we're given not Y, let's only look at not Y. So where is it not Y? Well, not Y is this and this. So that's all we want to look at. So everything else is gone because it's given not Y. Now let's work out probability of B. So B is just the five over the total, which is six. And there we have it. I hope you found that video useful. Support us by liking, subscribing, and share this with your friends. And if you still got some more questions on anything, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where you'll find your questions answered.